speaking to Good Morning Britain, Moors Goddard offered a passionate defense of the Queen and demanded people stop feeling sorry for her and treating her like a stupid little lady who can't look after herself. She explained how the Queen is a strong, independent woman who has more experience than anyone in the royal family and will be able to deal with any criticism Prince Harry my fire at her in his new memoirs which he announced yesterday. Her comments come as speculation rises around what Harry could do next to his family in his shock new book expected to be released in 2022. Moors Goddard said, Can I just say, I really abhor the way people look at the Queen as some stupid little lady who can't look after herself. This is a strong woman who has been through an abdication. Her sister's death, her mother's death, Prince Andrew and what he is going through. She has gone through and experienced so much. And what I admire about the Queen is that she has got a wealth of knowledge and wealth of experience. Moors Goddard went on to slam those who questioned the Queen's ability to care for herself or be strong-willed. She said, she is continuously written off as some frail silly old lady who has to be looked after. I am not going to say it, the book, is going to be pleasant. But I don't think we can automatically say before anything has come out that it is all going to be about bashing his family. He has had a much broader life than that. Tricia Goddard's passionate defense of the Queen comes as Prince Harry made the shock announcement on Monday that he will be writing his memoirs. While specific details of the book are not yet known, it is believed it will cover his time in the royal family and in the army. The book is also expected to be released in 2022 on digital and print platforms. Discussing the book, Prince Harry explained that it was a necessary step at this stage in his life. The prince said, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned over the course of my life so far and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful.